You already know, you already know, you already know what it's about. Aswan Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get in anywhere else. Today, February 7th, Wednesday, the first Wednesday of February, commonly known as National Signing Day. You have a ton, in particular, football is what gets the most press. Is what's blown it up into such a national event because college football recruiting has become such a such a lucrative we'll say such a lucrative business so where kids are signing to go from high school to go to college and all that all that has become a national event and in fact actually one of the things i talk about in the book in my book transferring d1 which you can get a pre-order copy of right now on d1transfer.com talk about how the event has kind of lost its lost its flavor seeing that the transfer portal is so prevalent and seeing that we have now have an early signing day period and all that but today is actually the official day in which you're going to see a ton of celebration right a ton of just congratulations you got a lot of high school football players who are filled up you know their heads are swelled they're gassed up you know they got the parent they got the mommies with them they got their little high school girlfriends with them they got the the, the old teammates they got the youth coaches all that stuff everything is just feeling good you're feeling good right you're you're you're, you're going and you're signing to go and play at a certain college and again i congratulate you i congratulate you but i'm gonna be 100 percent honest i'm gonna keep it all the way 100 today is the last day today's the last day the majority of you guys are going to actually be relevant in the football world the day is the last day so soak it all in because today is the last day that you're going to actually be relevant in any way shape form of when any way shape form or fashion in the football world all right this is it this is it enjoy it soak it up because the minute now from this point forward it's a business and you need to treat it like it's a business you're a business everything you do has consequences you are now going against grown ass men it's a grown it's a big boy business now all right you're talking and this is this is what this is what doesn't get communicated to you before today all right this is, does not get communicated to you because you have so many coaches so many people who are praising you for the fact that you have offers or that you are getting interest from college and all that kind of stuff they don't tell you it's a business and now you got to put your big boy pants on now you are a product of the university and you have to conduct yourself like you are a businessman understand that all right understand that don't go to school and take some bullshit basket weaving class think that thinking that just being a part of the football team is going to sort of predict and create a future for you no go in there get with the business professors get with the you know go take some classes that are going to actually that you can actually apply to your future think about what your life is going to be like without football because i'm telling you i'm telling you the majority of you guys signing today this is the last day that you will be relevant in the football world all right this is it this is it's going to be over when it comes to all the praise and the accolades and all the love and the support that you're getting i'm just just giving it to you real in fact let me just i gotta take you to i gotta tell you a story i gotta tell you a story because this is when you know there was this this one this one was great now again a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about coach chuck priori as do i but there, there there's been some things that he said that have just been legendary some some quotable moments from that man coach chuck priori the former head coach of the stony brook sea bulls where i played football I played football stony brook university is small it's a fcs program out in long island new york right so i remember it was my second year it was my second year i played for them for two seasons it was my junior and my senior year right so it was my second year and it was at the reporting day when we all reported for camp and all that kind of stuff and before we actually started practice the next day obviously you know you have your incoming freshmen coming in they're coming in with their families and everything is good and you know they treated us to a nice little barbecue I can't remember the name of the dorm, but they treated us to a little barbecue, got us some food and all that kind of stuff. And then I remember as that whole, like as the lunch was wrapping up and all that stuff, Coach P kind of, he took the mic, he announced, he goes, all right, guys, you know, it's time to, time to get going now. And uh, he, and this is what he said to all the parents. He goes, all right, so we'll give you guys about 10 to 15 minutes to, uh, you know, pack your babies up and pack your guys, talk to your boys or whatever. And then, you know, you guys can go ahead and just, you know, cut the umbilical cord and let's go. <laughs> Because you guys can cut the umbilical cord and let's get the players of football now, right? Get the players of football. And, I and the point he was making, the point, let me just kind of break that down for you guys. The point he was making is now you're playing with some grown men. All right, it's so no more time for all the high school and youth stuff and all the, like I said, all the pressure got. You was all county this, you was all world this, all American that. All that shit is over, B. All that shit is over. And now it's time to play some big boy football, all right? 
and it's like I said, it's time for you to start conducting yourself like a business, all right? Main website to check out to dive deeper. Actually, before I do that, let me make sure I announce this. Uh, every Sunday, we're starting this Sunday, starting Super Bowl Sunday. Every Sunday, we'll be hosting a live stream on my on this very YouTube channel. It's going to be navigating the transfer portal, navigating NIL, NIL. Doing that every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Also, D1Transfer.com. Get you a free guide on how to navigate the transfer portal, how to navigate this new chaotic world of college athletics in which you know we got nil we got trans just everything is going crazy where i don't have time to really dive into it right now but come every single sunday submit your questions they'll be they'll be answered online live and you know whatever it is everything that needs to get done you'll have a clear plan on how you can conduct on how you're going to find your way in this chaotic world of college athletics once you come to one of those live sessions all right the email is as one at d1 transfer.com the main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work make your move.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com it's a one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crookshank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon